well then I'll just move on um, maybe I don't know if it's the most interesting part now but um, I've mentioned before that there is a company that I'm working for and they don't mind sharing the stuff that I create and I can show you at least a little bit of that so um, there will be pull requests shortly so you can, you can have a look at the code if you want to and you can use it yourself but for now I'll just show you some of the things that I've created for them so there is a demo site that you cannot access even if you use uh, that URL you can try but won't work but um, this is a site where, where all the things that I have done are listed and uh, you could see them and I'll just show you some of them so um, not sure so um, one thing that I've seen quite often on the forums as well is some changes to dialog cards um, I hope you know well, we can have a look at it so if we click on dialog cards so um, this already lists all the changes that I have done so um, with this with with these changes um, uh, that I've created you can completely freely design the look of the or the, not the look but the the contents on each card so on the front side could be completely different from the back side and you can choose text and or an image and or audio so um, these are just two examples so now for example you don't have an image you just have have some text and which is kind of boring and um, in this case you it's you have everything you have an image and you have just uh, audio and you have text and again on the back side and it could be different it's not the same uh, audio because right now it, it would be the same I guess I'm not completely sure what the current mode is um, I think the image is the same I don't, I'm not sure but you could as you can see this this is a bird and it says bird and the audio button also says bird bird and if you turn it um, it is a cat and there is cat and it can't says cat so um, can this is one of the changes you can freely change uh, whatever should be on that card so um, again pull request will be out shortly next year and uh, what else I might show um, one thing that's also often requested that is not done it's kind of like proof of concept that it could work is uh, here at multiple choice and um, this is a multiple choice that you know you have um, you have to, to choose which animals are furry in that case and uh, if I say elephant and cats are furry then I get cat is okay but an elephant of course is not and what um, multiple choice question cannot do currently is um, have different media but um, with a change it could and again it's just a proof of concept the design should change might change it's not responsive but let's say we want to have images uh, not a good choice to have the checkboxes maybe you, you should get rid of the checkboxes in that, that case and just mark the images some other way but again you could which very animally no it's not for an animal animal, animal will be cooler so uh, it could be a cat I don't know let's say a turtle is also uh, <laughs> furry and if we check again um, you'll see the results and you could have the same with, with audio and uh, maybe that's not enough then uh, you could go for video maybe you could have have videos and you could I'm not sure will YouTube block those um, I can see you could you could play the videos and of course that's what I meant it, it's a proof of concept videos would be pretty small um, but again you could could choose and uh, what was it it's uh, well this is a dog I guess and this is an elephant and again oh no, it's not it's not that one what is it? what kind of is it <laughs> ah, it's a bird okay bird isn't isn't too furry so and you could have a look at the solution and you can retry and um, all the stuff uh, that you know from multiple choice works but with video so um, again this might come not it might look different um, but in theory you see it is possible um, what else could we have a look at maybe drag and drop um, the company that I'm working for is um, well they, they uh, mostly deal with younger with younger children so um, they're kind of different features that they require so maybe you don't need those but um, if you know uh, drag and drop um, drag and drop it doesn't allow you to have an audio button so um, you see some chickens and maybe you want some chicken sound that that um, children can can play so they can just or maybe they need some explanation what does this do because I can't read I can't read cool chicken and cute chicken so uh, you could hide an explanation behind this um, uh, audio button or you could try to have a visual story or whatever and uh, well 
you can have an audio button, you can click on it, and in this case, yeah, it's just some, some chicken sound. And uh, because it could be fancier for children, if uh, because sounds are nice, aren't they? So, for example, if I pick up uh, this chicken, ooh, like a cool draw up, co cool pickup sound, so... Um, so uh, maybe you heard that there is a sound when you, when you pick it up, and there can be a sound if you drop it as well. So maybe okay, now now I really know this is a cool. <laughs> it's kind of loud, isn't it? it? It's a cool chicken, and I want to drop it in the cool um, chicken bin. So I'll do. That. <laughs> and did you hear that? It just says boop. It's correct sound. Uh, if I did the same with this um, kind of cute chicken. <laughs> some cute sound and if I drop that hmm, that is wrong but I can of course um, yeah put that over here maybe and then it is correct and because uh, you, you need know, see one more thing um, that's all correct and there's an, an auto correct mode so um, uh, you see there's no check button because you can now get rid of it if you want to because it's kind of a cleaner interface it's not yeah it's not for um, really having an exercise so you, you, you're just done and you can continue for example so um, that is what is in here and I think there was some minor other things um, uh, automated feedback mode yeah that's that one uh, drop so yeah there's all kinds of things I'm doing and it has been so much lately I don't remember exactly what what I have yeah yeah but obviously that's it um, so some additions to drag and drop um, then one thing that looks kind of nice, but look before I just added some things is in flash cards. So that is here, and um, yeah, maybe you can maybe you already spot something that is different. So uh, it is a flash card, but down here it has this microphone button. And um, oh, I'm not, I didn't test that. Um, let's see if that works with microphone. I'm not sure if the browser now gets. Uh, my, my microphone, but I could say cat. Let's try that. No, it doesn't work. Oh, it doesn't work because it's ah, it's a brave browser. And it, yeah, um, it I, I, yeah, it's kind of security issues. I should have showed you that in Chrome, maybe. Um, believe me, it works. You can can push it and you can say cat, and it will write cat for you. Um, so that works. So, but but you know that. So first of all, there's um, uh, you can speak. Uh, the answer again for small children maybe they cannot read but they can say cat and they um, yeah can give the answer um, yeah what is different here hmm there is no solution at all maybe you just want to have like like a picture story that people can slide through so, so flashcards could be fancier slider or you could um, explain things here and then go to a question so that's uh, where you can get now get rid of questions uh, or the, the fields where you have to uh, put things into and then up here there's an audio button so again small children um, what is that maybe they could read it maybe they can guess um, that this is a sheep but um, now you could click on sheep uh, that button you could say sheep for example and, and again this would work if I wasn't using wouldn't be using uh, the brave browser with all its security settings um, yeah what else do we have is it something here? oh yeah you can have I, I think those work before um, the, the, the hints were before, but you see, there is a hint, there are two possible solutions. So, um, of course, one would be turtle, but maybe you type turtles, so... I hope I spell it correctly. Turtles? Yeah, I guess. So, uh, you can now have... Yeah, it is correct. So, you can also have alternative answers, uh, which is kind of useful. So, turtle would be correct, and if you think turtles would be correct as well, then you can add... Uh, add that and uh, we have to s add something here so let's say you're a dog you're not a dog but kind of look like a dog and again you can go to results and you um, well see uh, this is working this one doesn't have a correct answer so there's no checkbox or no no uh, check sign or X sign um, yeah some addition to flashcards I'm not completely sure about the um, uh, let's have a look at this feature. This will make it into the official code, not because it's not working, but um, because it's, well, how to explain it? This works on Chrome and it works on Edge because the core team rightfully used 
the web speech API that browsers can use. Firefox can use it well uh, as well. It is still in kind of in beta. You have to go to the extended settings and activate it, but then Firefox can uh, use it as well. But there is one company which is always kind of reluctant to, well, use common standards and um, they have some fruit as a logo and I don't think that Apple will, um, <laughs> I know I said it, uh, um, Apple will support the web speech API anytime soon. So um, it, it's hard to, to exp hard to explain to users, okay, this works on Chrome, and but it doesn't work on like Firefox regularly or on Safari, for example. So um, that is why the feature technically is working, but it's hard to explain. This is working here. And if you don't want to have um, or would get support question over support question, hey, this is not working, why then you don't implement that, unfortunately. But um, again, pull requests will be out soon. And if you want to use it on your, your customized system, then you can. Um, yeah, maybe one more thing that I am working on. It's not, it's still in beta, it's not completely done. And it might have bugs, but it is this um, thing up here. It says drag and bar and drag and resize. And um, yeah, it's not a canon type, I guess you, you, you know that. But if I click on that, um, you will see a course presentation. And that course presentation looks kind of funny, doesn't it? Because uh, these, it's not an image, it's really, it's really text, you can see. And it's rotated and same for the, um, um, the question here so it's a real uh, multiple choice question and uh, I don't care I check and it works all it's rotated and I guess it doesn't make much sense for the um, I'm, I'm for the for, for, for questions to do that but for images or for text um, it could and I can also show you how that is um, looking in the back end maybe at least currently it's still not done um uh let's see if I content and we want to have a look at that one and we want to edit that one so that is the editor in course presentation now and um yeah as you can see this is rotated and there are two things that i am not completely sure about um i need some feedback on that from the core team but uh yeah first of all if i click on that now you don't see a difference but you can click on transform up here Many people don't know that. You can click on these icons as well. And if you click on transform, you can enter everything pretty precisely. So if you want to move it just by one, um, is it a pixel? I guess it's a pixel. Uh, you could do that. And of course you can, if you don't, uh, if you want to rotate it, uh, you can just use the cursor keys here. And let's say we want to have it at 45 degrees. So we can d do that. And that works. That is fine. Uh, the one thing I'm not sure about is, um, how to do it but it's kind of uh, special in um, course presentation how this is done you have this context menu and it's here and uh, you will s so first of all if you, if you rotate that you can see it here already um, the rotation is kind of kind of looking weird because it's not um, rotating around the center uh, this is on purpose because if I did that um, this point here would move the position and then this context menu would also move all the time and it would uh, could be possible to be laying over the the content it would it's, it's kind of still weird uh, maybe that will change but uh, that's why the rotation if you do it that way looks kind of it's kind of funky isn't it so because it's not rotating around the center so but it works and of course um you don't want to do that with the cursors cursor keys all the time so um, you could also toggle the modes and usually in others, uh, other software like Inkscape, for example, you would, if you have, if you have it that way, you would you hover, uh, or you have focused the element, then in the corners you would already see those uh, small arrows that you see now when I hover over the the handles. So you would see, okay, now I'm kind of in resize mode, and if you click on the center um, on the element, then it would change the mode, and the the handles would show like a rotating uh, cursor. And um, I may change that. I didn't do, do it that way for now because I wasn't sure if it's better. But currently, um, in this implementation, you have to go to the handle. We, we now see, okay, I'm in resize mode because you don't see it otherwise. And if you now click on the handle, you will see, okay, it changes. And now it is a rotating cursor. And now uh, you can rotate this thing with the mouse as well. So, um, but it's, it's like moving it with the, the cursor keys. So, um, 
yeah, that is working. And I think, it, again, it doesn't make sense um, for um, tasks, probably, not sure. Um, and it can be activated and deactivated per content type, of course, but uh, I guess if, maybe if you want to have an image, and I know that has a sample image, um, again, you can resize it and, um, uh, well, let's see, I don't know, so we can see the rotation. Pro 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 oh, what? oh, you see, there's still a bug. I created the bug. Uh, I can't resize anymore, but I guess I can still rotate. Um, yeah, so that's working for images as well. And I guess it might make sense for uh, for images, so um, that will be in there soon. I hope. I don't know, um, but I hope so, and I hope you like that feature. 